Hi friends, how are you? Hope all are doing fine and all are safe during this corona pandemic. Today, I'm going to discuss a treatment which is 91% effective when you have a mild COVID disease. So what is this treatment? Now, I'd like to give certain uh, things. I would like to tell certain things about this research which is done in England. In England, they found that the the number of patients who are admitted at COVID hospital were less represented by the people who had lung disease like COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or asthma. So they were astonished because they expected that those patients who had a lung disease like COPD and asthma will have a lot of admissions. But on contrary, they had a less number of admissions. Then they further went into detail and they found that those people who were on inhaled corticosteroid they had a less chances of getting admitted. And we all know that the only treatment which is effective in Corona and which prevent death is intravenous corticosteroid like intravenous dexamethasone or methylprednisolone. So they decided to study it. So those patients who had a mild COVID and they, those patients who prefer to get treated at home, they divided these patients into two groups. Group A, they gave a routine treatment, whatever routine medication. And in group B, they gave routine treatment plus inhaled corticosteroid. Now the inhaled corticosteroid they used was a butacinoid. And they used a rotahelor and they gave with the help of rotacap. So the rotacap can be inhaled, uh, inserted in this hole. Then you have to just rotate it so that the capsule breaks and the powder comes out. Then you have to inhale that powder by, uh, by keeping these things in mouth and inhale in your respiratory tract. So this way. Okay, so this powder, this butacinol will directly go into your respiratory tract. And after this taking inhalation, you have to just gargle and throw away whatever powder which stuck in your mouth because it's not essential. Now, they also monitored this patient at home with the help of thermometer, uh, pulse oximeter. The nursing staff used to go visit and check the vital parameters. The doctor used to consult on phone. And those patients who required admission, like those who developed desaturation, that's their saturation fall below 93, they had respiratory difficulty, and they was admitted. So afterward, when the result came, they were astonished. Okay, so they found that the patients in group B has 91% less chances to get hospitalized for COVID as compared to group A. 91% effective, can you imagine? In 91% a treatment worth 300 rupees, there's a 91% less chance of admission. Okay, so they found that those who ha has taken inhaled steroid, there's a 91% less chances of getting hospitalized. So dear friend, if we use this kind of treatment for the mild COVID patients, because most of the patients are mild, they prefer to take treatment at home and few of these patients become serious. So if you want to prevent uh, hospitalization, getting your COVID serious, then you have to start using this inhaled corticosteroid under the guidance of your doctor. And they found that those who take uh, corticosteroid, the ACE2 receptor in the respiratory tract get downregulated. The virus cannot replicate in the respiratory tract. Okay, so that's why the progression to the severe COVID is prevented. So this treatment has been recently included in the Government of India guideline as well. And according to EMS gu uh, guidelines, you can take tablet Ivermectin 12 milligram once a day for three to five days. And for fever, you can take paracetamol 500 milligram. You can take every six hourly. And for cough, you can take cough syrup. You can also in a, uh, take uh, wa uh, uh, hot water uh, vapors. Okay. 
and try to drink warm water and take steam inhalation okay. so if you take this treatment and you prefer to get yourself uh, treated at home monitor yourself with the help of pulse oximeter if your saturation is more than 93 then everything is okay but if saturation fall below 93 or in six minute walk test which i have described in, in another video if the saturation falls below 93 in six minute walk test then you have to get admitted or if you get breathless if you become if the patient become unconscious then you have to get admitted so if we use this kind of treatment at home then whatever this tampet which is occurring at hospital there is no beds no hospital no oxygen remdesivir this problem would be solved and this corona would be thrown away from the india and from the whole world so friends if your doctor i've given the link of this article in the description you go through it start implementing it in your day-to-day -day practice so that we can prevent the severe progression of covid we can save maximum life so if you prefer to get treated at home get yourself isolated use the n95 mask do not come in contact with other people keep your room ventilated take freshly prepared homemade food drink a lot of water do yoga pranayam meditation or light exercise keep yourself mentally mentally healthy and positive that will win this uh, battle against covid and will emerge victorious so friends if you want that this death because of corona should be prevented then share this video to your friends and family members if you like press the like button put your comment in the comment box if you want to know more about the COVID and health, how to manage your stress and keep yourself mentally and physically healthy during this corona pandemic, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've given a lot of information regarding this. If you want to take your health in your own hand and lead, and want to lead healthy, happy and more fulfilling life, then join my community. I'm founder of Health and Happiness Community. I welcome you. I've given the link in the description box. Thank you so much, friends. Have a wonderful life ahead.